Listen to that mo power. Hey everybody, Al here. I'm with Steve. He just pulled in with a with an early Mopar. What is that? A, a, a 70 Cuda or something like that? Yes. All right, that's it's really something. You want to tell us about your car? Well, I bought it for five hundred dollars in drag racing condition. You're kidding me. Back in 1979. Wow. It came with a 383 on 410 rear end gears with a Dana rear end, uh, pistol grip four speed, and I blew up five motors in it. <laughs> so I took out the 410 gears and put in 355 gears. A little bit more streetable. Yeah, exactly. And now it's got a 440. It's bored out 30 thousandths. It's got wow. it's got Indy racing heads on it. So it's a bit more powerful than the 383? Yes. All right, so that's really cool. Hey, let's take a look at the car. And I got a toggle switch. A toggle switch? I got a toggle switch in there. It's uh, four and a half seconds. I got open headers. Oh, the, uh, the exhaust cutouts. Yes. Oh, that's cool. We got to hear that. <laughs> All right, let's check it out. All right, Steve, so you bought this car in 1979 and you still got it. Yes. It was in storage for 20 years in Cape Coral. What a find. That is really something, and, and, and it was in good running condition when you got it? Drag racing condition, yes. That's incredible. Man, you're a lucky guy. It only had 64,000 miles on it. 64,000, well that's, that's not exactly high. I mean, the no. car wasn't worn out. Exactly. So I got all new rubber in the, in the frame. The uh, floor has been repaired, you know, interior. I've got, an, I've got a new trunk floor. I've got all the parts I need to fix it. Both front fenders, both rear quarters, front and rear balance, the trunk drop-offs. So it can go in the shop, I guess, in, I think, June. The interior's been done. Car looks nice and straight. You know, it doesn't, you know, I mean, for, for a car its age. It's never been wrecked, I don't think. Well, that's really good. You know, a friend of mine had a Cuda, and it was a 71, and he always told me that he had the only Cuda with four headlights. Is that, that's, that's the only year, yes. The only year for that? Yes. His car looked just like this, though, other than the, the four headlights. What You know what I like about this car? I love the way the exhaust comes out that lower balance like that. Mm -hmm. I always thought that that was neat about the Mopars. Yes. It is so cool. I had a girlfriend when I was 19 and she was jealous of my car. She was jealous. She says, it's either the car or me. So, you see who won. You know, some of us are very lucky. You know, we have, we have girlfriends and wives that are, that are cool with this. In fact, my wife loves it as much as I do, so hmm. we're, we're good. Okay, you wanna see under the hood? Yeah, sure, let's check it out. these uh, hood scoops myself to make them real. Oh, so now they're pulling cold air. Yes. Yeah. Wow. So you see I got the inside uh, all painted under the hood here. Well, this part of the car looks like you, you, you've you been in here. You've been working on this. Yeah, I think I've got, well, counting my storage, I've got a lot of money in this car. Probably 40,000 right now, I'm guessing. Wow. It's my baby. So you're, you've you got a set of, looks like a hooker headers on there? Yes. And uh, manual brakes? Yes, it came with no, no power steering and no power brakes. But it was so hard to turn the wheel that I put power steering on it myself. Yeah, I don't blame you for that. It's got okay. a uh, ignition. Uh, MSD ignition mm -hmm. in the box is hidden under the battery here. Oh, that's a that's a neat spot for it. Mm -hmm. And that's a, a rev limiter, so if it goes, you know, if I miss a gear, it won't blow the motor up. It'll go to 6,000 RPMs and it'll stop. So that's it? That's the red line, six grand? Right, and then it'll shut off rather than blowing the motor like I did all those times. So your fuel pressure regulator there? Yes. Oh, really neat. Yeah, looks like, you know, you can see the love. It's all there. Really nice. Okay, let me fire it up. Okay, you got it. Yeah, 
baby. Listen to that mo power. Hey, let's check out the interior. So I had the floor repaired. The metal metal damage on the floor has been repaired. I got my seats reupholstered. <clears throat> um, I got a new dash. Stock seats. Yes. They look good. Yeah. My headliner is original. Oh, it's in really good shape. Mm-hmm. So, I really love the, the shifter. It's, you know, it's a short one. It's really user-friendly. I love yeah. it. I love it. The Mopas pistol, pistol grip. Yes. Nice. So, the difference in a Barracuda and a Cuda is the performance package. A Barracuda usually had like a 318 engine. And uh, the rear end was not a heavy-duty rear end. This came with a Dana rear end, 410 gears, and a heavy-duty suspension. So you had somebody set up the Dana with 355s? That was factory. Well, oh, I see. Well, no, it was factory the 410s. Actually, the rear end I got in it right now is another Dana, brand new. It's a Dana Strange. It's a 354 oh, okay. gear ratio. I got it maybe two weeks ago. It just got put in the car. Oh, so you're you're just now driving it on the 355s? Yes. All right, really cool. So I got the top painted, and I got the uh, the trunk painted. The rest of it is the original paint, but there was rust that has been repaired around the window. Right up here was was rusty, pretty bad, and it's been repaired by a real good friend of mine. They did a good job. Yes. Looks nice. It's uh, American Auto Restoration is the company that did it. Really cool, man. I love these Mopars. This is the, the best 500 bucks I ever spent. All right, my friend. Really nice car. Thank you. Okay. Coyote Car Guy, over and out. Well, how about that? Steve's 70 Cuda. Pretty much uh, that exemplifies how much effort, how much love, and how much dedication goes into having one of these cars um, the relationship uh, with the man in his car or uh, a car person with their car uh, you could clearly see uh, that he loves his car it's a lifelong thing for him he's living his dream and I think that that's awesome um, the car is cool uh, I had a friend that had a car like that we drove around with it uh, you know during our younger days had a lot of fun the car was quick and it was really nice and it's really cool to see that that car again so nice going steve we'll catch up with you uh, later on down the road as you proceed with the restoration uh it'll be great to showcase the car you know later on down the road as you get it finished uh, so we're looking forward to that um sorry to hear about the situation with your girlfriend that's really too bad but uh love the car it's all good um, if you've ever been to Matt Moran's, uh, Matt Moran motoring site, uh, he's got a channel and at one point he did a skit with his uh, wife, uh, a QA and a with his wife and uh, she pretty much exemplified um, a, a good attitude towards this thing. Uh, she said uh, that, you know, this, she wouldn't want to interfere uh, with his dreams. So she's very supportive uh, of, of Matt and his channel 
and uh, his love for cars. So power to you, Matt. Power to you, Beth. Love that. Oh, Beth, by the way, if you're watching, love that Mercedes. Really cool car. And Matt, thank you very much because uh, watching your channel actually was an inspiration for me to set up my channel. So it's all good. Power to you. So that's about it for this post, folks. Um, thank you very much uh, for all the people who signed up and uh, are, are now subscribers to my channel. Uh, I'm looking forward to bringing you uh, more content and more uh, beautiful cars from sunny southwest Florida. And uh, the, the future looks bright. So I appreciate all of you. And as you're viewing the videos, remember to hit that like button and share it with your friends. It's all good. Looking forward to it. Okay, until next time, when we see all of you out at the shows. Take care.